so this is the new zonin os 16 which is the one of the most popular and smoothest linux distros out there so watch till the end to know how to install it on your computer starting off this is the lock screen which is very minimal and good looking and once you unlock it you can see the information and it is based on the gnome desktop environment and you can check out my processor which is a ryzen 2500u so starting out with the zorin appearance we have the different layout for the desktop so we get the typical windows like ui but we have two options for the icons you can see uh, the second one looks much uh, detailed with detailed names and we also have the typical ubuntu style with the big app drawer and it's good for easy to use and uh, you have the overview button which uh, has all your recent applications and we can also add desktop right from the screen and it's really smooth and you can use the start menu key for that and also if you have the pro version you can have multiple docs and other options which is really cool as well but you also get the option for the light mode and the dark mode and we can also change the accent colors to our liking this is how the interface looks in the dark mode we also have the option for the jiggle effect which is uh, that we get in the mac os and it's also very smooth we can also customize this uh, windows key so we can choose either it shows your app list with one click or we can assign it to show the overview button so all your recent applications so it's easier to multitask other options are related to the icons so we can choose to have the recycle bin or our mounted drives and the uh, the folder button on our desktop so it's easier to access them another great feature of the zoran os is the availability of the built-in app store so we get a lot of applications related to developers so if you are a coder this is good for you and we also have related to the photography and editing and we have also a lot of games but most of them are 2d games so the uh, the more people we're looking for emulators we have citra and the famous Dolphin emulator. We get the Firefox browser as the default browser, which is fast and efficient. And uh, overall, if you look at the uh, performance, it is really fast. And uh, if even if you have a low-end PC like me, you can easily use it. The animations and everything is really smooth, even when I'm screen recording. The pre-installed applications include the GIMP, which is a Photoshop uh, alternative. So if you're into photo editing, this is a good option for you and we also have the full library office so you can do all your office tasks with the library writer powerpoint and everything for video editing we can use an open source video editor which is called the shortcut video editor and we can edit trim add effects and export in multiple formats it's a good alternative for linux users and we also have an app called the windows app support so it's basically play on play on linux which is pre-installed in the zorin os which is really nice so i have a dedicated video on this you can install ms office as well in using this uh, uh, play on linux so check that out this is how the file manager looks and it's very simple and good looking and we can also view the image and media right from the file manager because we have a built-in video player and uh, image viewer as well and from the properties we can also choose a default program for the media files we still do not get multiple tab options that we have on windows so we can have multiple partitions open up but for now it's good enough and get the job done now let us move on and see how to install the lizardian os on your computer so first we'll visit this website and we're going to click on the download option and we have a zorin os 16.3 pro version so this is a paid one and it includes extra features build support and all that but we can use the free version for the core and the light the light is for really old computers we're going to go with the core version which is going to be good enough for many and just click on the download button and once you have downloaded it like i've already downloaded it and if you're facing issues regarding speeds so you can just choose different location and choose the place that is nearest to your country or uh, location and we also download the Rufus, which is going to help us create the bootable drive. So download the latest version, open it up, choose your pen drive, which is going to be 8 GB or above, which is recommended. Choose the ISO. After that, we need to select our partition scheme. So how you can find about your partition scheme is by right clicking on the Windows key and then select disk management and under the disk zero, right click, select properties and under volume tab, you can see your partition scheme. For me, it is GPT. So just I'm going to do select that and start the process and it's going to take a long time and once it's finished you need to power off your system and then press the boot key and the power button together 
and after a while you will see this screen so we need to select our pen drive from the list for me it's the third number and from the list you need to select the first option but if you have any nvidia drivers you need to select the third one so i'm going to go with the first option which is try or install the zorin os you can see the boot logo and it's going to take some time and we'll finally have this uh, setup screen so i'm going to select the install zorin os option and just select your language from the list make sure to connect to a wi-fi or ethernet so that uh, it recognizes your drivers and install them automatically so you do not face any issues later and installation if you want to dual boot you can select something else but i'm going to install it as primary so this is going to in, uh, replace the windows so if you want to see how to install in dual boot you can check out my other video i will link it in the description so for this primary installation is really easy just select the erase, erase disk and continue and it's automatically going to replace every files and everything with these or noise files so now select your time zone uh, username and password just create one and once you do that the installation is going to begin and it's going to take a long time and after that you can see the reboot screen and finally we have installed Zorin OS on our computer so that was how you can do that and if you want to install it in dual boot check out the video so that was it for this video i hope you like this one and i'll see you in the next one